Man, we've got a lot of decisions that we need to make. What are we going to do about Romaine? Hello? Hey, Lewis, how you doing? Yeah. No, I agree. Romaine has been incredibly hot. I'm talking to the Chelsea people. We, you know, we just signed those two wingers for next year. I agree. I don't think we could pass on him if the opportunity presents itself. All right. Well, I'll let you know. All right. Bye. Well, I guess I need to make some more calls. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Episode 7 of our Bielsa Journeyman Save Football Manager 21. Daily football manager content Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. Central Time in the States, 2 p.m. in the afternoon, London Time. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you stay up to date on all the releases. So, we just had the transfer window last episode. We've started looking at some opportunities, and Romaine is one of those that we are looking at. If we dive into his statistics, 34 starts, one reserve appearance, 23 goals, and 23 assists. He has been incredible. Now, here's something I'm a little concerned about. I was watching a video by FM Scout yesterday. And it said there is a hidden attribute called composure. And this can cause players to be very up and down in their performance levels. And it's hidden. It's not a statistic in here. The only way you can see it definitively is with the editor. We don't use the editor. I do have it, but we don't use it. So the only way you can see it is in here, in your scout scouting report. We actually had, well, here's an example. Okay, Mensa, so you're either good or you're either a pro or a con. And just like when we're looking at stats, your, your really good stats are green, your average stats are yellow, and your you know below average stats are white, and then I guess really bad stats would be gray. So if we look at him, composure or consistency does show up as a yellow, fairly consistent. So this would tell you it's considered a positive, a pro. And being that it's yellow, it would be probably in that yellow category. So he would be somewhere around a 10, probably an 8 to 11 would get you in that yellow range, maybe a 12. If it was showing up in green, and you can see we have different colorations of green going all the way up, that would put you in that 14, 15, up to 17 to 20 range. Same thing in your cons. If it was a, you know, a, a orange, a lighter orange, that would mean it might be like an eight, seven, six. If it was red, then it would be like a five or lower as an indicator, not a be all end all. And this could lead to players being in very inconsistent in, you know, they could have an 8.5 rating one game, and then they may have two or three matches in a row where they're a six to a 6.5. Uh, you could have a striker that may score hat tricks three games in a row and then he'll go 15 games without a goal you know that's one of those hidden things and evidently in fm21 that is starting to make the rounds as a really big deal uh but we had a negative on romaine but it's not there anymore so i don't know where it went i don't know if that means that he is kind of right on that cusp where it is now gone from a con to not being on the board at all. What I did is taking a look at his performance, I don't think we can afford to get rid of him. He's only 23 years old. He's valued at $25 million. So we have extended his loan for one more year through 2056, and it has an optional future fee 
of $35 million. We could have bought him for about 33 this year, but he had that consistency, and I said, let's play one more year with him. So we're going to let him come back next year, be in the mix, or at least or be the starter for us. And if he performs like this, we're going to option, op, you know, we're going to take that option and um, buy him into the into the side. So <laughs> anyway, wanted to throw that out. So that's what's going on there. Taking a look at our recent schedule, we had a four nil win over Blackpool. Uh, Romaine with all four goals, uh, including a 79th minute penalty. He has just been completely on fire. Uh, 4-0 win over MK Dons. Menza with a hat trick, and Mikatin got a goal, so the other winger in on it. Huddersfield, we destroyed 7-0. Gomez Santos came off the bench. Uh, no, actually, he started this game because Mikatin got hurt uh, in a training incident between Dons and Huddersfield. So he was in. He got a hat trick. Romaine got a goal, Cernan with a brace, McNeil with a goal, and then Blackburn we just beat 5-1. Romaine with two penalties to get a brace, Cernan with a brace from the field, and Carpenter coming off the bench also adding a goal. A couple of records have fallen. We have set a new club scoring record uh, with the number of goals that we've got, and we have also destroyed the championship record most goals in championship history. We're sitting on 99 on our goal differential, so we are in point to break that 100 mark that we were looking for. This has been a very dominant side. On the flip side, we are in dire need of getting promoted. Oh, we're actually going to be passing financial fair play now. I literally just looked at this, and we were set to fail it, because now we're projected to end with a $1.4 million profit. We were projected to be like $23 million in the hole. I got no idea. No idea. So I don't, this screen has, has always confused me. Um, we're doing okay. We've lost $5 million this year, but you know, we're doing all right. Uh, so today we're going to look at highlights in just a second from Watford. Uh, then we're going to play Wickham. Uh, I came back a little bit early just because of the news on Romaine and some of the goal scoring and the chance to get the 100 goal differential. Plus, we've been in a really great run of form. So let's check out the highlights of Watford after I play it. So this is what we're starting to see a lot, packing the box. Six people in the defensive half of the field. Uh, they came through early on. Let's speed it up just a little bit. Estevez takes a crack. Given really misplays that. Both of our center back and left back got beaten on that. And we were in a 1-0 hole. Romain puts a penalty in in the 14th minute. We were looking the dominant side. 30 shots to 1. And we're only able to manage a draw. So very disappointing. Uh, we're stuck on 99. Uh, Jake Rush, 8 key passes, an 8 rating, and 85% passing. So we'll tell him his passing was good and not good enough, though. Not good enough. Uh, we are actually even with Leicester now at 89 points. They are two points better than us here in the second half of the season, although we have the much better differential. We've only allowed eight goals, so we have been really doing well. But they have caught us here, and we have our work cut out for us. Luckily, we still have a 17-point advantage now that we've extended over Norwich with 11 games to go. No, 46, nine games to go. It's 38 Premier, 46 Championship. That's right. I know this. So we're still looking pretty solid for automatic promotion, but the fact that now Everton has caught us, and we are dead even in wins, draws, and losses. I've got seven days to get to Wickham. We'll be right back. All right, we are back for the match. I wanted to show you Jay Gibbon now that he's got some matches under his belt. 14 appearances, seven goals allowed, nine clean sheets, and playing a 7.28. Wow. I think that was a definite upgrade. And 
also we pop over to Everton and their senior squad. There is Sean Rollinson yet to make an appearance behind uh, Tommy Hunt, 42 starts <coughs> for their side. What's his record look like? 47 allowed, 11 shutouts in 37. I don't think he's uh, as good as our guy. Either that or our defense is a lot better. One of the two. All right, today we're playing Wickham. And here's our lineup. Given in goal, Rush, McNeil, Lindorfo, Felix on the back line. Nagami and Wheel in the mid. Romain and Mensa on the wings. Gomez, Santos, and Cernan. By the way, Mensa now on 20 goals. Romain on 25. Cernan on 23. Gomez, Santos on 12. And Mikatin out injured with 24. He'll be back in six days to training. These guys are tearing it up. Let's get into the match. We need to win something fierce. Let's go finish the job. We're in blue. Wickham in yellow. And they start off with the first highlight that quickly fizzles out and goes nowhere. Let's encourage the team. They're actually playing pretty expansive. Three attacking midfielders and a striker. So they're not parking the bus on us here, so that's good. Uh, it gets through. Mensa picks it up. He finds an outlet pass to Gomez Santos. He's into the box, and he's taken down. There's a penalty. And Lahali with the trip. Romain steps up. Surprised it's him. Remember this. Oh, and he shoots it wide. Oh, my God. I hope that doesn't destroy him today. Remember, I was a little concerned about his confidence. Now, it wasn't showing up again, but it has before. And I have changed the corner tactic to a near post tactic. I'm interested to see how that develops. Nothing on it yet. We Wheel comes back and picks it up into Cernan. And a good save by LaCroix. And we are not doing anything here yet. Big route one pass, Crompton into the box. Rush, good tackle, clears it out, wheel, chest it down. On the run, lots of space. Cernan cuts it inside to free him up with some room. Down to the touchline, plays it back, and Mensa. Oh, there was an offside. Who was it? It wasn't Mensa that was offsides. It must have been, it, must, it was Cernan. I guess they called him blocking the keeper. Disappointing. Disappointing. Romain's on a 6-7, so the missed penalty hasn't killed him, but we'll see how that develops over the game. Wheel gets blocked. Another cross in, and it's Romain, and that's his 26, and I think he's got his confidence back in this match. Definitely making up for the missed penalty, but... Those are hard to recover from. Four shots, one on target. We've netted it. We've had some good opportunities here. We need to demand more. They've got a packed corner here in our stadium. Oh, there's a big save by Gibbon. A good block, and then he gets the second attempt. Falls on it and smothers it. That's good. Oh, that was not very good. As good as his save was a minute ago, I have to think he should have done better there. Ugh. That had some definite English on the ball. Bend it like Beckham, huh? There's an equalizer, and they've got the next highlight again. Oh, my God. 
Big save by Gibbon there. Four shots on target. Romaine comes down with it. Gomez Santos headed it to him. And Romaine gets double teamed and they take the ball away. Richards onto the attack. Burgess plays it through. McNeil is beaten and Gibbon can't stop that one. Richard with the goal and we are in a 2 0 hole. Oh boy. Well, so much for looking at a hundred goal differential. We're going backwards now. All right, Romaine. Your post. Header just goes over. All right. Showed some promise there. All right, we go to the half. We're down two to one. Gomez, a lower tempo. Well, this is the tempo we played at all season. Tell you what, we're going to pull him off then. We'll bring on Carpenter. Uh, I am going to show it in the second half. We make the substitution. Wheel, Mensa, drifting upfield. Loses it out. And I think they just kicked it out of play there just... I don't know what the deal was. Demand more. Rush, Romaine. Nogami finds Romaine a square in. We reset in the midfield. Cernan, Menza, Carpenter's there. He's taken down hard. And Felix takes a crack at the goal. No foul there. But we do draw the corner. Near post. Cernan takes it down. I think he was offsides. God, he is killing us with the offsides. Nogami's not playing well today. Let's bring uh, Kevin Day on for him. Oh, um, that Ukrainian guy, I think, that we signed, the 6'5 center back. Uh, he came to me. I gave him a start. Romaine loses that. That was horrible. Um, and he said he needed, oh, what a save by Gibbon there. Uh, he came to me right after the match and said that he was just not doing well and having a hard time settling in. Uh, of course, I mentioned last episode he was unhappy with um, because we didn't improve the midfield. And we had signed a guy just for him. So I don't know what he what he was expecting, but he wanted he wanted to leave. Oh, Carpenter flubs it. Cernan headed it down right to him at the back post, and it got away from him. We're gonna make our last sub here. We have two both of our guys are really tired. Let's bring on Chasson. That's one of our new players. Carpenter through to Cernan. He slots it home. He gets the goal. His 24th of the season. Carpenter with the assist. That equalizes. Oh, that was huge. We needed that. We needed that. All right, there's the sub. All right, let's give, uh, let's encourage him. We've done a, quite a bit of demanding. Let's just give the encouragement and see if the positive does anything for him. Oh, Wheel gets there. Loses it. I like what he was trying to do, but didn't go anywhere. Oh, there's a big through ball. Cernan taken down hard in the box. There's a penalty call. They're going to go to the VAR, but Carpenter's going to line this one up. Oh, my goodness. Aloni that doesn't play. And it's saved. Header off of that corner was at least on target. Oh, my. And that one goes back door. Carpenter puts that one in. And 84th minute goal puts us up. 
I'm, I saw him at the back door. We're not going to see a replay. Oh, here we go. All right, Chasson. Lindorfo got the header on it, and Carpenter put it in at the back post. We will take that. And Chasson, another set piece. Cernan, two little cracks with it. LaCroix makes the good save. Six minutes of stoppage time. Oh, this is going to be a long six minutes. Felix, we've got the highlight. Day, wheel. Blocked away. Second attempt at a shot gets blocked. And there's the final whistle. We probably deserved better. 21 to 9 on shots. They did have 7 on target. Almost a 4xG, so I think we deserved our goals. And I think they got one that they did not deserve. So we'll be happy with that. Um, you've done brilliantly to come back to win. And that is a one goal advantage. And that does get us to the 100 goal differential. Oh my goodness. <coughs> Everton hasn't played yet. They must play uh, the late game this week. So we'll have to see how things sit there. Yeah, they must play on Sunday. And that is okay. Carpenter, we've secured at least a playoff spot. Carpenter shined three key passes. Mm, you did miss a penalty, which was crap. 13 in a row unbeaten. That'll be nice to get a little bit of money for that, for this dude. Shia Mukametov. Wow, okay. Something like that. Finances. 2.1 million in the hole for this month. Mostly on salaries and bonuses. Yeah, we just need to get promoted. <laughs> we just need to get promoted. All right, so I think uh, at this point, like we said last episode, we'll come back for the season finales, Hull highlights, QPR on, uh, on camera, and uh, if need be, we will look at uh, highlights from another match uh, if that plays a major role in us getting promoted. Well, you know, actually, if we have a chance to win the league or promotion, I'll we'll come back and do that if we have a chance, and then we'll, we'll skip the later games. So anywhere between Aston and QPR, we'll come back. We may end up having to do two matches on camera if there's a chance to clinch the title and get silverware. I think, that, I think we need to do that. Guys, hit that like button for me if you like what I'm doing. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. Daily Football Manager content Monday through Saturday. And we appreciate you guys, as always. Thanks a lot. Bye.